All right, guys, in this one, I want to go over all of the roles, kind of just talk about things as I go along. This is my first time seeing them as well. This is mainly going to be for PvE. If there's any standouts for PvP, I might mention it, but obviously this is a very PvE-focused channel. So I kind of want to go in and just see if there's going to be any, like, build crafting options. So the first one is going to be the Exuvia. Exuvia, I'm not exactly sure. This is going to be a Stasis uh, 120 hand cannon. So right off the bat, obviously this is mainly going to be used for ad clear so i'm looking at things like triple tap like i guess you could you know potentially use something like that <laughs> but let's be honest we're not really going to be using that but we have the new perk rhyme stealer so we can get frost armor whenever we shatter a crystal or a frozen combatant so i think this is going to be a very strong contender i'm looking at the other options here and I, they seem kind of, I guess, PvP focused. Stats for all being an okay option if you don't want to play into Frost Armor. But I feel like if you're using this gun, you're probably going to play into what it's built for. So Headstone is going to be a great option. Obviously, that synergy is going to be extremely deadly, specifically with this episode with all the Stasis Artifact perks. But I mean, like I was saying, you get the triple tap precision instrument, but I would definitely not craft that at all frenzy obviously is also a really good option as well and then you also have things like explosive payload death measures those are always going to be good even one for all stats for all could be a pretty decent option but again i, I think this rhyme sealer headstone option is going to be the way to go you can get flare at magwall or reload speed mass work you're sitting at 54 reload speed unfortunately you don't have a like a reload speed based perk but i think getting the frost armor definitely will make up for it our next weapon is the liturgy this is going to be a stasis double fire grenade launcher and right off the bat, this thing has choke clip. This is probably going to be the go-to role for most people. Just get this gun with choke clip. I have tested it, and it actually does not freeze on one shot, even though it does shoot two grenades. It only slows, and then it freezes. But that can be a good thing, because the slow will actually stun Overlord champions, and you can freeze and shatter to stun Unstoppable. So it basically can just deal with two different types of champions, even though it is just one gun without a champion mod too, which is really sick. In the first column, you do have things like Rhyme Stiller again, which can't pair okay with chill clip rhyme sailor is based on freezing so if you're only slow with chill clip i don't see the synergy there too much like obviously there's synergy i just don't know if it's like super strong like the hand cannon but you have things like strategist i guess for you know class ability cooldown other stuff here really isn't that great slot ways did get a huge buff slot ways with chill clip is gonna be for sure a disgusting option because you could just literally keep sliding slow freeze it's gonna be very very strong probably going to be the go-to role but we also do have envious arsenal envious arsenal is a new perk what we're ba it's basically bait and switch but to reload your gun uh, and if you pair this with other weapons with this you basically are never gonna have to reload theoretically i haven't actually tested it much in game yet because i haven't gotten a weapon with it to drop yet but if this basically just makes so you never have to reload i mean in a dps rotation just applying slow freeze doing a shatter is going to be pretty strong especially this episode with all the grenade launcher focused things but i think just overall is the go-to especially since slotways got buffed slotways chill clip is just going to be ridiculously strong i think that is just gonna be what most people go for but even if you don't like chill clip i mean it has left from gold if you you're really playing into ammo economy uh chain reaction for ad clear and you also have some damage perks which you don't really particularly use those on these but you also can try to make this into like a disorienting grenade launcher. Maybe just have ammo, quick draw to swap to it. But you have to reload it is the issue. Or you could just take slot ways in that regard too. Uh, and just blind everything. Slide, blind, slide, blind. Again, with chill clip, I mean, you're going to slow blind slide. Like th th this is going to be the solid go-to roll right here. Even if you swap out disorienting for something like spike for extra damage, you could totally do that as well. But if you just want to completely crowd control the whole room, with literally not having to do anything except sliding around uh, th this is for sure going to be the go-to you could even have the grenades split too since it does a double fire and hit multiple enemies th th this thing has a lot of potential and it's probably what a lot of people are going to farm for but next up we have vantage point this is going to be an adaptive arc pulse rifle uh pulse rifle is actually pretty solid in pve now Taking a look at its perks here, uh, in the first column we have a new perk, Closing Time, so this is mainly a PvP perk. Uh, again, stats for all, I mean, that's a pretty decent PvP perk. We do have Eddie Current. Eddie Current's actually pretty solid now with the buff they gave it, uh, but that's like the two things that are drawing out to me right now. They also have Jolting Feedback, the brand new perk. I'm very interested in this perk because in lower tier content, I feel like 
you're literally never going to get value out of this at all because you could just kill the enemies super quick but i think you can kind of like chain the damage like on one enemy next enemy then the next enemy so i i, I think in loiter content volt shot is just always going to be better but if you are using this in some like gms being able to apply jolt i think this has a lot of potential now you also have the one for all stats for all combo i mean that's always going to be pretty decent even desperado for pve is not the worst but I, honestly that's about it if you want to do something funny with like deconstruct to refill the magazine and do more extra damage to the constructs vehicles all that stuff maybe it's something like focused fury uh that that could be yeah, pretty fun but i think this is i think this is suited more for pvp and i don't think these are the the greatest in pvp if i remember correctly i i don't play B pvp that much but it does have like the head seeker keep away role so you could be looking out for that. It's just it's just like a solid adaptive pulse rifle. And that's, that's, the, that's literally the whole point of it, I guess. But next up, we're going to have the insurmountable. This is going to be a void precision frame sidearm. I don't particularly see myself using this that much, being the fact that it's just a precision frame sidearm. But I mean, it does come with things like repulsive brace stabilizer rounds, the classic combo that almost every gun has now. So it's not that unique anymore. But I mean, it, it's obviously still a good combo, though. I mean, threat detector on a sidearm is obviously also pretty decent. It can get demo in the first column, which is nice. You can pair that with any damage perk or even destabilizing. And I mean, you're just going to have a pretty solid sidearm here. The problem with this is like I was kind of saying earlier with a pulsar brace, like other weapons could just roll with like these combos. Now, like before, like if you saw like demo and then you know destabilizing like this, or obviously a pulsar, like it was like it was so so good. Like even if the weapon was kind of bad, you would still use it just because of the perk combinations. But there are just decent weapons now or even good weapons now that can roll with like these combinations. So unless this thing is like uh, secretly just actually insane for dps or something you know like red bar dps obviously i'm not talking about like boss dps or anything i don't really ever see myself using it unless there is some specific champion based thing that you have to use this for at some point but again kind of like the pulse rifle it, it it's decent it has it has good perks but like i, I just I don't know if you're a fan of sidearms you definitely probably like this thing though but now moving on to the bittersweet now this is the one i was personally most excited for because there's an artifact perk that lets these seasonal weapons do more damage so obviously having a grenade launcher on a grenade launcher focus season with an artifact perk that can also do more damage i, I feel like this thing is probably going to be the dps meta and right off the bat, we have bait and switch. This is going to be your go-to option. I mean, you have things like frenzy and explosive light if you can't get bait and switch, but bait and switch is just the 30% increased damage. And it can pair with envious arsenal. Now, the other perks in this column, just right off the bat, like they really aren't that good at all for DPS. Envious Arsenal 100 percent being the best. You can pair this with the liturgy uh, with that envious arsenal. Theoretically, you should be able to shoot with your first two weapons you're gonna proc bait and switch shoot all the ammo swap off go shoot with your other two weapons again and maybe have those guns with the envious arsenal as well or bait and switch and then as you fire with those other two you can swap back to this bait and switch will be reprocked again if you get the timing down and your gun's gonna be reloaded plus again you have all the artifact perks the other one that's also increased the damage because it does have the dark ether reaper origin trait this thing is gonna be very very solid obviously spike grenades is going to be the go-to if you're trying to do the most damage and overall this is definitely one of the weapons i'm personally going to be looking out for the most because i seriously could see this if you have all the artifact perks unlocked and you have this role or even a role similar to it uh, it could actually be the dps meta for the contest mode dungeon not even the contest mode once everybody has everything i think it could solidify itself to be one of the best grenade launchers in the game maybe specifically just with this episode but overall in general i mean i even it's it's just gonna be really good definitely keep an eye out for the bittersweet and next up we have the sovereignty now this is going to be an adaptive frame void sniper these don't really have like that crazy of a place if you want to use a single target sniper you don't want to use a high impact you want to use the dps sniper use a rapid so again they're just kind of the middle ground they don't really have that much of an identity but this does have a new perk withering gaze so it you can actually weaken enemies you basically just aim it down kind of like box breathing and then you shoot an enemy and it weakens them i think this could have some crazy utility potential i don't know how much but just being able to weaken an enemy with your special weapon sounds crazy I mean, obviously you have things like tractor cannon it's literally one of the best power weapons in the game I, and also that weekend is not as strong as this weekend this should just be the 15 percent weekend so it's not going to be the same as tractor cannon but it's also just using special ammo and you have it literally all the time pretty much so 
this could be very very good for dps options you know there's not much here. I mean, you have things like demo to reload the gun. You do have like explosive payload in the first column and maybe something like Fireline just to do a ton of damage. Even if you want to pair explosive payload with it's something like box breathing, just to just do a ton of damage to a single target. Uh, I mean, you could also obviously just pair with Withering Gaze as well. You may could have something, you know, cooking here. I mean, again, like just looking at the perks, like, I mean, you have Dragonfly and Light and Action. All these are like just decent perks. But when you put the decent perks on this weapon, it's really, it, it's really just not that good. I, I, it's, it's kind of like, again, the, the pulse rifle, the sidearm, they're just decent perks, but their identity in the game compared against, I guess, other weapons. I don't really ever see myself using it. But with this one, again, you do have Withering Gaze, so it could actually potentially be pretty good based on how strong this perk is going to be. Now, next up, we have the Red Tape. This is going to be a Stasis Lightweight Frame Scout Rifle, so think of something like Nightwatch. They're actually pretty solid weapons in PvE, in my opinion, and this is rolling with things like Rhyme Stealer again, so you can get that Frost Armor, pair that with Headstone. You're going to have a very solid combination here. If you don't like to use hand cannons, this is going to be a pretty good option. For the other perks, you do have things like Demo, even Attrition Orbs. I guess fourth times a charm, but not really with that one. But like Demo Headstone is a crazy combination if you're playing into some specific Stasis build. Like if you're playing like a Stasis turret build, you pair Demo with Devour, which it may be a little overkill, but you're going to be having so, so many Stasis turrets up. Uh, and pair that with the new exotic chess piece, like you're going to have a whole battlefield <laughs> on your screen. But in the right column, again, you do have things like One for All, Adrenaline Junkie, Rampage, Explosive Payload. All are just very, very solid options. All solid damage perks. Adrenaline Junkie probably being the least amount, but like obviously Explosive Payload, One for All, they're very strong. Even something like Four Times of Charm Explosive Payload for a GM type of content or you know, even like a Trish uh, Explosive Payload, that could be pretty good. But I think for this weapon specifically being that we already have other weapons namely things like night watch you're probably going to be just building into again what the gun wants to be built in for so probably headstone with a rhyme stealer or a headstone with demo are going to be extremely solid options now, next up we have the heretics fervor so this is an aggressive frame stasis rocket launcher in the first column we have things like fill prep which is always just a pretty decent on heavy weapons you get the reload speed you get more ammo it's great to have our loading hole serve if you're doing some you know dps rotation and other than that you have things like slot shot which is you know, i guess decent it's kind of funny uh you can kind of take advantage of it but if you're sliding around the rocket you do have the potential to shoot a teammate now in the right column you have things like chill clip unfortunately the interaction with chill clip and galley is just not really a thing anymore uh so it's really not the greatest uh but i guess i mean it's something you get shatter damage Vorpal, what once used to be like the greatest perk in the game is now just it's so bad compared to other damage perks it's just 10 percent. so you might as well just take frenzy and frenzy is a 15 percent damage buff you get the handling as well the reload speed frenzy is going to be a very very solid option if you are trying to use this for damage bipod as well if you want to try to build around that maybe bipod fill prep you just have a ton of ammo in this thing i think that could actually be a pretty unique role for it but you even have things like explosive light as well if you want to use that for damage so Dude, I, I keep saying it, but I, I don't really know how else to describe it. Like, there's, there's nothing that truly makes this thing, I guess, like, amazing. It's just, it's just solid. Like, if you don't have a good rocket launcher, this is going to be decent. I think most of the time, people are still just going to run Apex Predator uh, if you have that. But if you don't, this does have some very solid options. I mean, auto loading frenzy is very solid. You get the handling speed, it reloads. They did nerf auto loading, uh, but this is going to be a very solid you know, i guess dps rotation rocket if you don't have one fill prep bipod it seems pretty interesting just with the amount of ammo you could have and then slot shot again is always a pretty funny option slot shot chill clip just keep uh shattering over and over again maybe, maybe this is the head the hidden tech that we need right here with slot shot chill clip but i mean yeah i mean it, it's just a decent rocket launcher i wouldn't go too crazy farming it though like some of the other weapons like bittersweet or even the hand cannon uh but I mean, it, it's okay. The next up, we have the Noxus Vetiver. I think I pronounced that correctly, but this is going to be a 600 round per minute arc SMG. It has the pillager look, which I think actually looks really sick. I'm kind of sad they don't have Vault Shot on it. They do have the new perk, Jolting Feedback, but again, kind of like we talked about earlier in lower tier content, or I mean, not even just lower tier. I 
I, I don't foresee this being the craziest perk. I think Volt Shot will just always be better. Uh, and I don't really foresee yourself using this in a champion base scenario. There is some champion mods this season based on SMGs. But I, I, I don't know. I, I, I want this perk to be good, but I just think Volt Shot's going to be better. But in the first column, you do have things like Loose Change. If you do take Jolt of Feedback, other than that, obviously don't take Loose Change at all. Unrelenting's okay if you, you know, you get some health back. I guess Thresh is okay. I feel like we haven't seen Thresh on a weapon in so long. Uh, but you get extra super energy and then Pugilist for, you know, just some melee builds. You can then come over here if you don't want Jolty Feedback. You can pair that with things like Frenzy, uh, Death Measures, Rampage. Those are just kind of decent. Frenzy, probably going to be the best one just out of all those. Something like Frenzy Pugilist or even like Frenzy Attrition Orbs, Frenzy Unrelenting. You just get a bunch of handling, a bunch of reload, a bunch of damage. You, you could heal with the gun and i think uh, again overall just a pretty solid smg there's again nothing that is standing out like slot waist chill clip or headstone and the frost armor perk that you can get on some of the stasis ones I, it's just it's just solid so like frenzy unrelenting i think is going to be a good go-to if you want to go pugilist maybe pugilist jolting feedback if you have some like arc jolt melee build i don't, I don't know, really know what you're going to be cooking up with that but i think this thing can actually be pretty good and again the fact that it has the old pillager model that alone makes me want to get it but now next up we have the scavenger's fate now this is going to be a precision frame void shotgun shotguns actually did receive a pretty generous buff they kind of basically extended the range like crazy so shotguns actually could be pretty decent in pv you know and there is anti-barrier shotgun so look at its perks in its first column obviously this is a special weapon you're probably trying to use this for just major damage or maybe even some additional boss damage so things like feed and frenzy like i it's a good perk but like i don't really ever see myself using it discord could be interesting because you could kill the different weapons swap to the shotgun then have infinite ammo slot shot mainly a pvp perk but also good in pve because you can also just slot to reload pv as well and then you even have things like dual loader which i you know it's a pretty good reload perk for shotguns because you just reload two shells at a time you can pair that with something like frenzy to get your reload speed to max and you know you're just going to be able to use this gun pretty much all the time if you have ammo surrounded obviously also a very good perk on shotguns to get that increased damage you could go with harmony harmony discord you get that ammo get that increased damage i think it'd be pretty interesting and if you just want to go with the repulsor to stabilizing rounds roll that's also a thing honestly i think for the most part i probably would just go frenzy and dual loader i uh, this just looks the best in my opinion you get the reload speed you get the two shells per shot if you want to substitute that for slide shot you could totally do that as well but i think if you're playing into frenzy and the reloads you might as well just go for dual loader as it is and then for shotguns always take a salt mac to get that increased fire rate and I, I think you'll have a pretty solid shotgun here so if we just go through one more time to i guess further solidify exactly what i'm going to be looking for on all these weapons i kind of yapped about it now so this this is what i'm going to be looking for in my opinion so for the hand cannon, definitely Rhyme Stellar Headstone. Like I said, it reloads me masterwork. Flare Magwell, I pretty much always take Arrowhead Break because most of the time you get 100 recoil direction, but also you get the handling. So this is going to be a, a very solid stasis hand cannon, uh, you know, for stasis builds. Now for the liturgy, kind of like I said right here as well, distorting grenades, slot ways, choke clip, you're going to be able to slide around. You're going to be able to fly slow. You're going to be able to freeze. You're going to be able to blind. This is going to be a very, very solid utility grenade launcher. Unfortunately, I, I wish it had auto loading, but slot ways, I can obviously heavily make up for the auto loading. And then I'll probably just take quick launch to increase the handling, the handling mass work, just to get the handling up a lot. So I can swap to it faster and blind enemies if I need to. Now for the vantage point, I probably will just play into the fact that we can go for jolty feedback, go for something like eddy current, if Jolty Feedback ends up being very strong, that's going to be obviously very solid. Eddy Current, you're going to be able to reload the gun a lot faster. And then for Barrels, I'm probably just going to be taking Arrowhead and then maybe just something like Akraz Rounds. Or if you want to go for more stability, you can go Steady Rounds. Because if you do have Eddy Current and you're Amplified, you do get to 100 reload speed, which is obviously very nice. Something like a Range Masterwork or even a Handling one. It's, it's completely up to you. Uh, I don't, again, I don't really foresee myself using this over some other Arc weapons. But if it ends up being very strong i you know i can eat my own words and you know i and I, this is definitely what i'm going to be farming for now for the sidearm in all honesty i probably will just go with repulsor to stabilizing 
something like a, a flare at magwell or reload speed mass work arrowhead break i it's just kind of just a, a solid weapon overall i may swap out repulsor for demo and then just play into the stabilizer rounds or again i destabilizing i can play into any of the damage perks but it's probably going to just beat this roll right here. And I, I probably will never use it. But if I get it, I definitely will keep it. Now for the bittersweet, we already talked about this one a lot. Definitely just going to go with bait and switch in VSR, some spike grenades, and then probably just hard launch to increase the velocity. A velocity mass work just so I can make sure the bullets get over there fast enough. And I mean, I, I, I genuinely believe this might be the DPS meta. Uh, and, and, if, and if I do get this roll, I probably will make a separate video on it. Uh, cause I, I think this is going to be very, very strong for this episode. The sovereignty, uh, probably just going to go with withering gaze and then just explosive payload just to make sure I can actually land the withering gaze shot. Uh, literally, I, I honestly, this stuff's just up to you. Arrowhead again, flare mag off reload speed. I, I mean, just to make sure I have bullets to proc withering gaze. I, uh, and I think that's just going to be a utility role. And I, I I don't know if I would use it for literally anything else other than just this pure utility to apply weekend, which is good. Like, I don't want to like sleep on that and say it's bad. For the red tape, personally, I'm probably going to go with demo headstone. I probably will use the hand cannon for my rhyme stealer weapon. So I kind of want to have a demo headstone weapon just to play into that, you know, that stasis grenade fantasy I was talking about earlier. Flare at Magua, Arrowhead, this is just the common trend. You get 77 reload speed you can reload with demolitionist as well this thing is going to be pretty solid now heretics fever for me personally it's being that i have something like apex predator i don't really need to have like a i guess a swap rocket anymore probably just going to go with the fill prep bipod just to have a ton of ammo and then also hard launch to increase that velocity another velocity mass work you have a 93 velocity rocket launcher with a ton of ammo uh and this should be just pretty decent honestly i don't think it's gonna like top the charts or damage or anything but it could be a fun option now the noxus vetiver the smg here what i was kind of talking about earlier again frenzy unrelenting to me seems like the best option if jolting feedback ends up being very strong then definitely take that but as of now I, if i just need a solid arc smg i mean this is going to be a very very good option if i am going to think of a melee build i would definitely go pugilist but with this frenzy you're getting that 100 handling you're getting that 100 reload speed that can then let you opt in take stuff like akras or again steady grounds if you want the extra stability but since we do have frenzy with this weapon we don't actually have to take arrowhead we can take chamber compensator to get that 100 recoil direction we also get that 10 stability it does minus five handling but remember frenzy gives max so you have a very very stat heavy smg here and add on a range masterwork and i mean this thing is going to be pretty solid and just put in some decent work and then finally for the shotgun definitely just going to go with frenzy dual loader again to get that max reload speed max handling get as much rounds per minute as possible and then for the barrels honestly you'll probably just take something like rifled again you get minus 15 handling but frenzy will make up for that and give you the 100 and then for the other things for the other barrels you don't really need to take anything else because this gives handling uh and the other ones just give less range so you might as well just take rifled uh, just to extend the range as much as possible uh and you never really want to take full choke because it reduces your precision damage and then you never really want to take smooth bore because this will also increase your projectile spread so just having a rifle rail be a nice 10 range is a pretty solid option then you could just take something like a range mass work and you're gonna have a pretty good solid just go-to shotgun here they're really i feel like there isn't that many good void specials in the game like obviously there's some decent options but I, I think this will be a good contender to actually make you want to use a shotgun especially with anti-barrier shotgun this season and with a bunch of the artifact perks also increasing these specific weapons because of the dark ether reaper orchard trait but that is all of the weapons let me know which one you are most excited for mine's definitely the liturgy and the bittersweet probably with the hand cannon coming in for a close third i'm excited to start farming for these and getting my hands on all of them and again if there is some standout i probably will make a dedicated video for each of them but i want to get this out talk about what i want talk about all the roles in general and if y'all enjoy and want to see more videos like like this for all the other weapons stuff be sure to let me know down below i have a ton of fun putting these together just giving my thoughts and opinions uh but don't worry there are going to be more super edited in-depth build videos coming out soon i probably already have one up on the channel because I, I think this is going to come out after that video but anyway i've been yapping for too long i'm going to end the video here thank you all so much for watching and i hope you all have a great day peace